huge water ride day. Heading to islands, got our bathing suits on, just gonna do the three water rides and go back to the room because we do not like to be wet. So that's a good thing about staying on property is you can do that. So let's see what the weights are. Kind of just open. Don't know what time it is though. Crowd's heading in. It's 9.30. What? We can ride Spider-Man again. No way for Spider-Man. So figure let's do it. Bradley left this ride. Finally heading into Toon Lagoon. I have not even gone to this side of the park yet. My first time this trip. Ready for some water rides. For Dudley do right. It's a five minute wait. Chris and Eugene are going first. Bradley didn't want to go on. Then me and Mama. steps for the day. Normally we average like 18,000 steps, so none of these steps count. <laughs> that was it. Very good. It, there's a maze to get on. People just undid ropes, so you have to figure out how to get on. We went three ways that said do not enter. Oh my but there was a group of us. Like literally no one there was not one person behind us and they tried to sit us with other people after like they already closed and sat down they like try to reopen it and me and mom were like oh no we're not comfortable sitting with other people because that one you're literally straddling the people like you're on top of each other and we, we weren't wearing our masks because it was a water ride and we always wear our masks so we were uncomfortable the girl rolled her eyes and huffed at us and was not happy but there was not like I'm not kidding not one person behind us so uh -oh. But yeah, so now we're going on uh, Popeyes. Just did two rounds, and we are soaked. I'm actually, it's only my bottom half. Oh, I'm, I'm very soaked. How soaked are you? Very. Very. Dota. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get wet. Yeah. Don't they let us go on twice, two rounds, because there was no, no one online. So we did it, and we honestly probably could have kept going because there was no one waiting. But two, two is good for us. The only reason Kristen had a child was so we could go on the flyers. And it's been closed since we've been here. And I'm obviously kidding. But we've been waiting for him to be tall enough to ride it. And it's been closed. The reason I had a child. That's what I just said. <laughs> but we went watch. all of that and yeah. it's not even open. Yeah. The second that they leave, because we're staying longer, it's going to open. Watch. Then I might pay someone to use their kid. All right, we're heading on Jurassic River Adventure. Kristen and Bradley are gonna wait for us as we go on and watch us come down. Here they are. Right now they have people out. Little, very little. <laughs> yes. I've never seen like actors out there. We are still a little wet, so we are eating at the outside Margaritaville. It's really nice out here. 
That is a world. That's the map. It's a world. Gonna get the rest. Me, Christian, and Mama got a bunch of appetizers. So far, the wings came out. I love their wings here. And the pretzel sticks. Uh, you should try those pretzel sticks. Yeah, you got a shark Those thing. are the nachos. Look how gigantic. Whoa. And then we also got the shrimp. That's an entree. Entree. Bradley got the kids. Cheeseburger. You want ketchup on your cheeseburger? And you, Jinga! Rancho Deluxe burger. Ooh. Nachos were good. Coconut shrimp was They're good. They're layered. And what else is there? Oh, haha, -ha, wings. And pretzels. Oh my god, we had a lot of stuff. And Luzo all very good. All that was left. Luzo all very good. Oh, we did really good. The nachos were a lot. And super layered, like totally worth it. So much stuff. It's good. <laughs> did you like your burger? Yeah. I think the coconut shrimp are better at Simpsons than they are here. Oh. I just had them the other day and they're very good. This is the first time a bus was not waiting for us. In the past few years that we've been staying at Universal. But it is 12.45 in the afternoon. Hello everyone. We are now at the Magic Kingdom. After our water rides and lunch, we showered, got all ready. I think that was the fastest I've ever gotten ready. And now we're here. It is three o'clock. Park is open till nine, uh, but we try to leave before the fireworks. Otherwise, it is not fun trying to get to the ticket and transportation center. So we either leave earlier or we stay later. So we shall make it to the monorail. Woohoo! <laughs> He was sleeping and he heard the word monorail. Popped up. up and he started screaming. Monorail! Woo! 3.20 in the afternoon, we got our own monorail. made it into the Magic Kingdom finally! Crowd update is 3.45 on a Monday. We stopped in the Emporium to look around. There is a few things that we want, so at the end of the day, we will go back out shopping. We did go in because we were thirsty. Uh, you get annual pass discounts at the store, so always buy your drinks in there. And Coke Zero changed the recipe, and I'm not happy about it. So when we went to Walmart, the cans for the room, is the recipe I do not like. This looks like it's the, the good one, so I'm excited because I was not liking the new flavor. Marland Terrace is open for us to just sit and relax. Don't think we've ever done this. It's a nice view. Good people watching spot. The ride I have missed the most. People mover. Woo woo! People mover always has a wait now. We used to always just walk on. When I was a baby, mom used to literally just sit on there while I was napping and they would let her ride it over and over because no one ever did it. But now it's popular. <laughs> one of our faves. So close and the ride stopped. Hopefully we get on. All right, our favorite ride. Look how cool Bradley's mask is. I love this one. All right, let's see if we're with Kristen and Eugene. No! Stranger spin, gonna try for my score. I have not been doing very well with it. This is how we entered, and this is usually how you get on the ride. They changed it. This is the first time we're seeing this. Now the room to enter is over here. I'm guessing they wanted to give you more time to jump on the 
in the car. Now you have more time to walk and see and get on the ride. It used to be a very quick turn, so I think a lot of people were running to it. Womp womp. Check the status board to your usual score. Remember, I was hitting all the targets I saw and I wasn't getting them. I just tell myself that. One day I'll get it. Rally ran and said, I want to go on a great big beautiful tomorrow. So we're going. It's a dream come true for you and me. So there's a great big beautiful tomorrow. Just announced goes until September 8th. Yeah, September 8th. Uh, we were able to get our annual passes again because we've had them for so many years. We had a call because uh, we did cancel during COVID. Uh, we had a call and they basically had to like approve us. So they said it could take 30 days. It didn't. It took like two weeks, I think, and we got to renew them before coming here. Not forget repurchase. Repurchase, yes, uh, but only because we were previous. That was why. And I also never got Bradley's refund, and they kept saying like, "Oh, it's in the works. It's in the works. It's in the works." I called like every eight weeks since last August, and I still never got it. And so they just applied it to my new cast, which was nice because it was half the price. Yeah. Uh, so that there's like new levels. We, as non-Florida residents, only have the option of the first one. And the worst thing is that we still can't pay monthly. I don't understand why Florida residents can do a down payment and then pay monthly. That's what we do for our Universal Pass. I don't understand why Disney doesn't allow that for non-Florida residents. I, it's a silly thing to me. Uh, then there's uh, other levels, but that's only for Florida residents and then DVC and then Florida residents. Lots of blackout dates. Uh, so a lot of people are not happy with him. It literally was just announced today. So I didn't really look too much into the, it. The first level, and don't quote me on what the name is, because they have all new. Yeah. I know we're the Incredi Pass. That's the, the uh, biggest one. But that's our only option. That's yeah. not Florida residents. But the first level of passes, you can only go on weekdays. The lowest one. Yeah. And there's blackout dates. I'm yeah. Sure. Yeah. So interesting. And supposedly they might sell out. I don't really understand that. I don't know. I think you should be like, like our universal one, we get like discounts for eating. Like we get, I feel like more stuff. And it's expensive. It's up there in price. The Universal's is not. Yeah, the Universal's only two parks right now. So. People Mover has been down for a bit of time. They've been just sitting here. Luckily, it's not us. Cast members coming. They are unlocking them and they have to walk off the ride. Bradley wanted to go on Mad Tea Party, but me, Kristen, and Eugene said, no way. Makes us sick. His daughter's going to do it with him because she has her patch on. fast and Dota's like no way Jose. He's trying. 20 minutes. Let's see if it really is. I don't think I've ever ever waited for waiting the poo. I've always gotten a fast. We are at 16 minutes so it's about a 17 18 minute wait so it was accurate. <laughs> Mom and I are heading to Columbia Harbor House for dinner. Got the kids meal, got two chicken fingers and double order of fries and a Powerade. And Mama got the kids fried shrimp with double rice. Chris and Eugene and Bradley are going on Peter Pan. And probably doing a few more rides. Mom and I are heading back to Main Street. We're gonna go shopping, get some ice cream, relax a little bit. And we're gonna get out of here before the fireworks start because getting 
home from here to the TTC is horrific at night and we don't want to be stuck. 7.05 and people are already getting their spots for the fireworks that start at 8.45. The sun is starting to go down and it's looking very beautiful with the fall. So the confectionery is closed right now. So they have like this like little mini one uh, called Sweet Treats. And it's very small, it doesn't have much. Uh, I was looking for the giant sugar cookies that I love and they didn't have it. The only thing they had was the mini sweet sugar cookie. So I figured I'd just get it. Uh, get 20% off annual pest discount. So give it a try but I like my gigantic ones, but confectioner is closed, so it was a lot, a lot of Rice Krispie Treats, Mickey Rice Krispie Treats, uh, some apples, uh, kind candy, and then like all the prepackaged stuff. So it wasn't anything like the confectionery size wise, because it's very small, and it was so small that I had to wait online, and they were letting in groups at a time. We are waiting for Kristen. It is about 8.15. The per, uh, fireworks start at 8.45 and we want to be out of here before that because then to get out of here is horrific. So she said that she ordered food and they locked it up. I don't know what that means. She's not answering us. So me and mom might just go and wait at TTC because I don't want to have to deal with the crowds. And me and mom got these earrings that are supposed to like cuff but I cannot get them to stay on my ear. If anyone knows how to do this, maybe I just have weird ears. My mom can't get it to work either. And I also get shirts. I'll show you that when I get back. Preparing for the craziness after the fireworks. Look at all of the, the lines. We made it for the boat. Good evening, friends. Welcome aboard the Richard F. Irvine. Bye, Castle. What? <laughs> I can't hear him. And hello, Dockside. Oh, yeah. So it's 8.30 and the boat is nice and empty. So if you don't want to see the fireworks, this is the time to go. But of course I know people go see the fireworks. So then we recommend just hanging out. Sit in the hub, relax because getting out is a nightmare. It, one time we did it and me and mom took the bus back because we had the car. This is when we were staying on Disney property. Kristen and Eugene we went to the Contemporary, jumped on a resort hotel monorail, took the monorail to the chicken transportation, and then drove home. A long, we were like literally on the bus, we got home fast. We were second. They were second. Dad took like hours. Dad took the boat. He waited on my It boat. took hours. But like, me and mom were sleeping. But now they have completed the walkway from the Polynesian to the Grand Floridian to the Magic Kingdom. So if you do see that it is an insane wait and it's very crowded and a lot of cranky people after a hot day in the Florida sun, just Walked all day long. What's another? It's a 20, about a 20, 25 minute walk. What's another 20, 25 minutes? That's, That's a lot. That's a lot with your feet on. Yeah, the but if it means that, otherwise you're gonna stand and, and you're a little bit of a happy note. And you're standing it. in the line, so right. kind of the same thing. You're standing no matter what. If yeah. you're not gonna sit and have grass and chill, walk. Just do it. Yeah. Don't think about it. Just do it. We ordered mobile order at Pecos Bills. Three kids meals. Um, and it said pick up between now and 8 p.m. So we did the I'm here at like 7.50, no 7.52, and by the time we walked over there, it was 8.02. Okay, so we weren't technically there yet. We were just exiting Haunted Mansion. And so we get there at 8.02, and all the doors are locked. And we couldn't get our food. So one of the cast members, um, that was cleaning at that Pickles Bells, I told her, and she was just like, oh, okay, let me go help you with that. She went to go, like, tell the people, at that point it was Eugene and, like, three other guys, and they were, like, banging on the door, like, hey, we ordered food, and the guy was like, oh, no, we're closed, and Eugene's like, yeah, but we all ordered food, another guy was like, oh, I, you guys didn't ever give me my water with my dinner, and they were like, oh, 
okay. But like our food was there and it was ready. So and you, you paid realize, for it. And you paid for it. Didn't you realize that people didn't pick it up? And so like that that was really odd. And it What's wasn't that? good. Uh, it was it not was good Disney mac and cheese. The worst mac and cheese yeah, we've like, ever had. It was like, Yo, you all got mac and cheese. Yeah. The worst mac and cheese. We were all looking forward to it. It was not cheesy. It was like buttered cheese noodles. Uh, and old. End of the night. Yeah. So, yeah. I guess getting, when they say cheese. that it closes at 8 p.m., they literally lock the doors. Yeah. And they don't care that you ordered and paid for it. So, just I be aware. Know. To show my shirts off, this is one of the shirts I got. It was $25, but anyone has discount, it came to $20. And this shirt, which was the same thing, $25, came to $20. And there is a back design. And the back design shows you when all of the rides opened. How cute. And just like that, another day has come to an end. Uh, we started with the water rides in the morning. I love those rides, but only really do it once a trip because you get so soaking wet. Jurassic Park, you don't get that wet. You could do that in normal clothes. We've never really had a problem. The other two, you get drenched. So we make just one day out of it. We go in our bathing suits. We don't bring anything. And we go on those rides. Then we went to Margaritaville because they have the outdoor seating. Just got a bunch of appetizers. Super good. And then we got ready and went over to Magic Kingdom, our first Magic Kingdom day, this whole trip. And it was good. Most things were very short waits. Uh, me and mom just kind of wanted to walk around we did a lot of shopping and it was a good day. See what tomorrow brings and with that I say good night everyone.